Hey, Saggy Seekers. Welcome to the existential shift. My name is Morgane. Eat grapes. There, I solved all your problems. You're welcome. Now, just for the fun of it, let's see what the cards have to say. Quite a lot and quite fast. The Moon card and Three of Cups. We are here for the month of October, by the way, but whenever you're guided to watch this, take it or leave it if it resonates and triggers or not. Okay. Moon and Three of Cups can be a little bit indulgement slash escapism. I don't have problem with indulgement, obviously. I'm eating grapes in your face. But when it's used for escapism, it's a different story now, is it? Hmm. There's an old tale in your head about three women. They are the maiden, your childhood crush. They are the mother, your mother. And they are the crone, the archetype of the divine feminine within you and within every other female you meet. And their wisdom. And it's a little bit much to all come up at once. And Saji, you like to shoot forward. You don't, by default, you don't really enjoy the swimming in the murky waters of the underworld, trying to grab the reflection of the moon. You're like, this is a reflection. What am I doing in these waters? It's a little bit chilly. And all these shadows, Ah, uh, thanks, no thanks. I don't care what you tell yourself. I know shadow work is super in fashion and in style. But you really don't like it. It's not fun. No, it's not. It's not supposed to be fun. It's supposed to lead to fun, but true fun. Not the fun of escapism, but the fun of the heart. Being, being and beating with joy. Joie de vie. Joy of life. And if you don't go there naturally, your psyche and your spirit will push you there. Possibly going into alcohol, possibly going into drugs, possibly going into meditation. There isn't meditation, but actually more so of an attempt to run away from life. Because when you don't deal with life, you don't really enjoy life. Once again, the only way out is in. You want to go into joy. Dive into the murky waters first, but not with using substance, but by being super conscious and aware, by using your consciousness, your clear, clean mind, the sun. Your sight can't be foggy under these waters. The waters can be foggy, but your sight needs to be sharp. I think you're falling in love this month, Sagittarius, and that in a way forces you to go there. The heart, you know, when it's in love, it needs to know itself in order to express its own love. And so it forces you. It's like, yo, Saji, we're in love. Shit's getting real. We need to, know, we need to get to know ourselves better. We need to go there.
I want to know how it truly feels. Don't numb me down. It doesn't have to be drugs and alcohol. Of course not. It could be work. Sports. Video games. Anything that you overdo and overindulge in ways of telling yourself you're living life, but you're actually leaving life. Do you want to leave life or do you want to live life? The sun here says, come and live it. But right with the moon, there is some stuff in there. Conscious, subconscious, right brain lobe, left brain, brain lobe. It needs to be balanced and aligned. You want assistance from the elements? Cool. Let it be herbs. Let it be spices. No substances, though. Enhance your awareness. Don't fog your awareness. Once again, it can be anything that you overdo. And then there's the success, things happening well, moving ahead, you're in the spotlight, you're getting the attention. Oh, how easy it is to drown in that. Knight of Pentacles. This energy comes in and says, hold up. Don't get me wrong, you're on the right track. What you're feeling is legit and powerful and good. But how are you approaching it? From the element of earth that can actually sustain it and help it grow? Or from a place that swallows it all up in a second, not even able to taste it? You know when you're hungry and you just eating really fast and you don't even know what it tastes like you're missing out you're missing out on rare mastery like of an experience because you're just rushing through it there is something in your life right now Sagittarius that you are called guarded helped halted don't rush through this look at it feel it smell it taste it give it room give it space give it its respect Because the sunflower only flowers to the sun, only to that which brings it light, love, warmth, it shows itself. When the sun goes down and the moon comes up, the sunflower shuts down. So if you were to rush by it at nighttime, you would not see its glory. You gotta stop, let the sun come out. Be patient. See it blossom one step at a time until it opens up completely in its full glory. Stop and smell the sunflower. Oh, the things that we miss out on out of vanity and confusion. I'm blind it's just there's nothing to see here are you sure are you absolutely sure or is just your ego telling you that if there was something into this you would recognize it immediately because you're just so sharp 
Yeah, all of life's mystery mysteries just unveil themselves to you like that. That's how sharp you are, Sachi. Mm -hmm. Seven of Cups is confirmation. When you're wearing a mask, everything around you seems to be wearing a mask. How can you see something for what it is if you don't allow yourself to see yourself for what you are? Truly. Knight of Cups. This is better. Emotional maturity. Going into the waters. But not with three cups, one cup. Tasting it one bite at a time, one sip at a time. Like this King of Cups has matured so rapidly. These Seven of Cups are like, nope, you can't fool me now. I understand what I need to do. Running by a field of sunflowers at night when they're all shut down, I won't even know. But pacing, walking by them at daytime, that will allow me to recognize the sunflower and focus on it I will at least know it exists I will at least know this person exists I will at least know this project exists I will at least know this creation exists I really like seeing this King of Cups here. Coming in mid-month. Making it all oh so clear. Nine of Swords, interesting. Very interesting. So, with all that, there's still an emotional challenge that is holding you back, Sagi, that is telling you it's not possible or that you can't or that it can't because you are bound to this and that and them and there. But you already know better, you know you're not. Maybe the reason you can't enjoy this glorious field of sunflowers is because you feel bound to the night. That's how I walk. Those are my hours. This is who I am. I don't have a choice. Are you sure about that? Maybe you're feeling bound to a past promise, emotional, commitment that you've had, that you've made long ago at a time where you won't, you were not yourself. So it's not even you that made that promise, that oath, that commitment to a self or to a person. It was a shadow aspect of you that was building itself up to becoming you. And as the shadow phases out and the light comes in to replace it, those promises and commitments to a sense of self or to another person or to an idea or to whatever are phasing out with it. And yet it's almost like you're handcuffed to it, like chasing your own shadow. No, I have to. And the sun is like, but I'm here shining myself onto you. You are that sunflower. Everybody skipped through and didn't see. So you yourself kept skipping through and didn't see. 
your fellow sunflowers. Skip the soulmates. Page of Swords. Skipped opportunities to fulfill a dream. Because of an imprisonment proclaiming itself to be an oath or a commitment. Break the shackles. Page of Swords, all you gotta do is say it. Make the mental decision. Open your mind to a new vision, to a different person, to a different way of thinking, to a different way of reading, to a different way of writing, to a different way of anything really. Nothing blinds our sense of truth as much as our sense of righteousness. I wrote it a long time ago. And that's your Achilles heel, Saji. The tower. It all co it all goes down. It all comes down this month of October. you thought you knew to be absolutely certain it's collapsing it's a blessing it's to save you it's saving you from yourself it's queen of swords perhaps this is a truth teller She is the maiden, the mother, and the crown at once. In a physical manifestation, it's a person. From the ruins, flower will bloom. Flower of light and truth, flow the least. And this flower can hold itself at nighttime and at daytime, because that's what truth does. But first, we gotta go out of the shadows and into the light. And ironically enough, I don't mean out of the shadow work and into the constant sense of happiness out of the shadows and into the light ironically it's out of the perception of truth and into the light of truth taking the flashlight of your clear sight and diving into your psyche it's not the standard thing that I'm trying to have us avoid already, which is running away from truth by saying that we're running into the light. This is the sort of truth, something that will really help break down the lie. The lies that we tell ourselves. Look at her eyes, they are red. It's almost like she's watching this tower collapses in the flames. Maybe she's the one who brought it.
The devil. Oh. I have the chills. Someone has addictions. And they lust this Queen of Swords. But she's so protected and guided, it's almost like she's watching this energies that have these desires or wants with bloody eyes just watching it crumble just by holding her own sort of truth this woman I don't know who she is to you but this woman can make earthquake And lightning bolt. And waters to rise. Six of Wands. <laughs> Good. Is victory. This is stepping out of a very murky um, mindset and sense of existence. Energies are quite volatile in this reading. And you're holding on to this sort of truth for dear life and you're just climbing climbing out of this well. Okay. Anything else we need to know, Saji? I'm going to continue this in the extended. Um, we're focused on love. We'll see into your mind and heart space, your person's mind and heart space, the dynamic, and how things unfold throughout the month. And we will finish up with messages from the runes. I will use the. Um, no, I will use this deck. I'm guided to use this deck again. Morgan Greer Tarot. Maybe I'll clarify with the fantasy erotic deck. Either way, we'll continue with this deck, um, and it's over on Patreon, so hop over there to hopefully join my community there. We'd love to have you, and we will get to see not just your extended, but all the zodiac signs for different placements, cross-watching, etc., and there's a lot of other content there to enjoy, um, so check it out. Okay, anything else to sum up this reading for Sagittarius for October, please? Before we move on to the extended, anything else my Sagis need to know? Clean and simple. The High Priestess. <laughs> Back to the Three Moon Goddess. She won't say it unless you ask for it. This Queen of Swords, hi, Swords High Priestess. She won't say it unless you'll ask. Someone is holding knowledge and someone else wants that knowledge. Someone is like trying, um, this is an added layer, not relevant to everyone, but someone is trying to dig up information from this high priestess queen of swords head literally using energy energetic manipulations you know maybe trying to um, infiltrate her dreams or 
you know, to read her books, so-called, to tap into the Akashic records, to the, to the shelf of her, whatever, whoever she is and what she knows. And seeing this Queen of Swords standing so tall between the devil and the tower, it's like all of that type of energy just crumbles around her and just get sent back right to its sender because she's carrying the frequency of the high priestess so who's ever doing this you know they're just hurting themselves so i feel if you feel like you're this energy i wouldn't worry um okay guys if you're new to my channel please subscribe press the bell button to receive notifications if you're already subscribed and you haven't been receiving notifications press the bell button um, or simply make sure that you're still subscribed because sometimes people get unsubscribed us creators we don't do that you know so sometimes it's the system sometimes it's the, this platform you know just make sure you're subscribed and, and the bell button is pressed and that way even if I go live then you'll receive a notification and etc um, stay magic stay true I love you we'll see you in a sec